blessings to the Most High, our Father in Heaven, hallowed be your name. God the Father, we truly appreciate you, thank you. We love you and we just thank you for waking us up this morning. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for being the perfect role model, the Messiah, the Son of Man. We truly thank you and appreciate you for your sacrifice and everything you've done for us to this day and every day going forward. We truly appreciate you. Thank you in Jesus' name, amen. It's important that we keep the Ten Commandments. I have seen a video of someone dressed as a pastor um, talking about how uh, in today's day and age that you don't need to follow the Ten Commandments, that he was trying to say that it was Moses' law and that um, Lord Jesus didn't teach that. And uh, that's incorrect, that's false. Um, Lord Jesus definitely taught the Ten Commandments. Um, he told you guys, you know, to honor your mother and father, which is the fifth commandment. Um, you should have no other gods before, you know, God the Father. And that's the first commandment. Um, people like to talk about the Old Testament versus the New Testament. God's law and God's word is God's word, you know. So I, if you guys don't even know what the Ten Commandments are, uh, I'm going to go ahead and share the Ten Commandments with you guys. And then from there, once you know the Ten Commandments, it's up to you to go ahead and research about each commandment. I'll uh, give you guys where you can find it in the Bible as well so that you can research it from the Bible because the Bible is basic instructions before leaving earth. So the Bible is going to you know, give you the definitions that you need that are accurate and true. And then from there, you know, you can go on and go to YouTube and um, search up the commandments and learn more about it. But definitely be careful when you're going on YouTube, Google, the Internet in general, and just all these different sources and people, because, you know, if you don't know the answers, you know, you can easily get misled, you know, read the wrong information, listening to someone spreading lies, you know, being false. So take heed and pay close attention to what you are, you know, allowing yourself to hear and believe because the answers are going to be in the Bible. So that is going to be the first place you're going to want to look and do your research and everything like that. So the first commandment is... You shall have no other gods before me. And you can find this in Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. The second commandment, you shall not worship or serve any carved image or any idol of any kind. So basically, all you people who say, oh, this person's my idol and oh... I look up to this person like you're not supposed to do any of that like your favorite boxer or whatever when you know some of these guys are talking they're like oh yeah my idol is this person that person and that person that's just straight up sin you're not supposed to have another man or anybody a celebrity nothing as an idol or anything like that you're not supposed to have idols you're not supposed to look up worship want to be like no other man or female on this earth you got to stop it you got to stop doing that i don't know if that's what you're doing but you should not have idols you should not you just shouldn't have idols period it's in the bible god doesn't want you to have it lord jesus doesn't want you to have it so you need to do better and um, you can find this on Exodus chapter 20, verses 4 through 6. So the third commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. So, you know, people who swear and like, you know, to throw Jesus' name out there or throw God's name in there while they're swearing, don't do that. Also, if you're praying... You know, 
don't just say God's name over and over and over again, you know, without having a meaningful like purpose behind it, you know, you just, you got to be respectful. You have to be respectful at all times. You can find this, Exodus chapter 20, verse 7, the fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. Now, the Sabbath day is Saturday. In today's day and age, people go to church on Sunday, which is the first day of the month. Or the first day of the week, I'm sorry. Sabbath day, Saturday, is the last day of the week, you know, the seventh day of the week. And, um, you know, God built the earth in six days. And on the seventh day, he rested. The seventh day is the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. And the Sabbath day is for us, you know, humans. For us to, you know, rest, give thanks to God, give thanks to Lord Jesus, to recuperate, to do good, do good things, do good works, you know help each other out and you can find this one on Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 the fifth commandment honor your father and your mother be respectful this one's pretty you know pretty simple pretty straightforward respect the people that gave birth to you you know always keep God first but respect your parents and you can find this on Mark chapter 7 verses 9 through 13 Commandment number 6 You shall not murder That one's quite simple I don't have to explain this one at all Don't murder, don't kill nobody You know Yeah, you can go deeper into it Like, oh, self-defense And you didn't try to kill somebody And you accidentally, you know what I'm saying Took their life But we're not going to get into that Don't murder, you know And you can find that on John chapter 8 verse 44 the seventh commandment do not commit adultery don't sleep with somebody's wife don't sleep with somebody's husband straightforward you can find more information about this on John chapter 8 verses 3 through 11 and also on Matthew chapter 5 verses 27 and 28 Commandment number eight, you shall not steal. Very straightforward. Don't be a thief. Don't be a theft, you know. Don't steal. Simple. You can find information on that on John chapter 10, verse 10. Commandment number nine, you shall not lie. So don't lie on your neighbor. Don't lie on yourself. Just stop lying. God knows the truth. You got to stop lying. Now, I know this commandment may be possibly the hardest commandment for a lot of people because they'll just they'll lie so fast. You know, even quick, petty lies that don't necessarily mean or cause no harm to nobody or you, you feel like it doesn't cause no harm to nobody. But it's that consistent line that you do that, you know, it, it would take a toll. That's a sin. Lying is a sin, brother. And. You cannot enter the kingdom of heaven if you're sitting here lying all the time. You have to cut it out. You have to find a way to stop that. Stop doing it. Matthew chapter 15, verse 19 and 20. You can find more information about that there. But stop lying. That's pretty straightforward. Just stop lying. Just tell the truth. Just stop lying. Keep your mouth closed. You know, tell the truth. And... The Tenth Commandment, you shall not covet. This is spelled C-O-V-E-T. So don't covet, you know, don't covet anything. And that's basically, covet is basically like, let's say one person, let's say somebody just got a brand new Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? And you're looking at this person like, oh man, I want a Ferrari too. Why can't I have a Ferrari? Like don't, you don't look at other people and be like, oh, I want what they have. 
And you know what I'm saying? You can't be jealous. You can't live your life off just wanting possessions because none of that stuff matters. You know, in today's day and age, people see all these people on social media, you know what I'm saying, doing different things. And they, and they, the first thing they're like, oh, I want that. I want to do that. And then they allow that to, you know, make them angry or mad or sad or have them feeling depressed because they're not doing something that somebody else is doing or they don't have something that somebody else might have. And that's not okay. You know, God doesn't want you to do that. Lord Jesus doesn't want you to do that. So don't covet. Stop doing it. You know, you can find more information about this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 17. Now, those are the Ten Commandments. Now it's up to you to go in, do your research in the Bible, study the Ten Commandments and put them into practice. You know, when you start to do that, you'll start to you'll see a change in your life for sure. One hundred percent. You know, you got to get on your purpose out here. I understand, you know, some of you want to get to the bag. You want to make the money. But you want to get into the kingdom of God because the things of this world, you know, what I'm saying you're not going to be able to carry them over to the next life. If you make it to the next life, you know what I'm saying? So it's a everyday process, you know, nobody's going to be perfect every single day. But, you know what I'm saying? If you can have a perfect day, a perfect day of praising the Lord, do so. Try to do so every day. You know? Players mess up sometimes. You know what I'm saying? People mess up. We're human. But you got to believe in yourself that you can, you know what I'm saying, work towards just, just work towards being better. You know what I'm saying? work towards bettering yourself keep believing in God keep praying keep the Ten Commandments and you're gonna have a better life for it you know don't fall victim to what everybody else got going on out here because it's a lot of wickedness out here in, in these streets this world you know all over social media the news it's in the music we listen to it's on the radio you got to be careful out here it's a spiritual war going on. Which side are you going to be on? Are you going to be on the side of good or are you going to be on the side of evil? You can't be neutral. You can't, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to, you know, stay. No. If you're not believing in God, you're with the devil. So turn your life around right now. You know, start praying. Ask for forgiveness. You know, God is a loving God. He's a forgiving God. You know, you got to thank Lord Jesus for his sacrifice and everything he's done for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind, y'all. I got to get to work. Appreciate y'all, man. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Stay focused out here, y'all. Stay focused, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Let's go.